Welcome traders to this month's issue of the Technical Traders Tutorial. My name is Christopher Mullen and I'm going to show you a little secret that I use to identify short-term overbought, oversold conditions in the market that will help you pinpoint entry and exit points. Now this example here I'm going to show you is on the gold market. This is the GLD ETF you can see in the top left hand corner. And more or less we've got a simple moving average, a 20 day moving average overlaid on a 30 minute chart and these purple lines here are the upper and lower Bollinger Bands and really what we're looking for is to trade with the trend and look to get involved in the market or take action with a current open position if we see the market penetrating these levels. Now if we just take a look at these these levels here when the trend more or less is down in gold you're not looking to buy anything green. Green shows the, the levels where we're dipping into uh, oversold somewhat territories with the market has moved beyond its normal deviation and usually you're going to see some type of pause or rebound from that but when the trend is down the market could be oversold for an extended period of time and just keep on being oversold so what we look for in a downtrending market are these levels here where the market becomes overbought and when you do get those levels you get these sharp moves to the downside where you can uh, quickly pocket some quick cash and as the trend goes down you can continue to short these levels uh, there's as things get mixed when you get mixed signals here you usually move to cash or put a very tight stop in place but overall when you do get these overbought market conditions within a downtrend they're good shorting opportunities and when the market becomes oversold uh, like in these levels here there are levels where you can be pulling profits uh, out of your position and uh, adjusting your, your stop to make sure you don't give any money, too much money back or take a loss on the balance of the trade. Now it's the opposite in a uptrend once the trend starts moving up and we've got a nice uh, a bullish price action going on we're not looking to short anything in the market that's overbought. A market that is in an uptrend will continue to trigger overbought territories repeatedly. A market can stay overbought extended period of time, sometimes months on end. So here we go on the 30 minute chart you can see here once the trend starts to turn up we actually had a little pierce here there is a green candle it's probably tough to see but overall we had a quick oversold territory come in you could be pulling some profits off the table the very uh, in a session or two again we had another oversold market condition here in gold a couple weeks later and then of course the market has continued to run up into current into the current prices we're at right now so overall what we are looking for are simply shorting opportunities within a downtrend to help time or assist with any of your trading strategy you have now this is a great little indicator to really help you identify if a market is, is kind of stretched to one side uh, and and uh, in an uptrend you're looking to see if you, your signals confirm with markets that are stretched to the downside so that you're buying on an oversold dip. Now if we just take a look at these settings, these are just very basic settings. This is just a, a Bollinger Band. This is a 30 minute chart and of course it's set at 72 periods and 1.7 uh, deviation on it set at the closing price. So very very simple little tool but it is a great way to stay in favor of the overall trend and just buy the oversold or overbought market conditions within the trend. Anyways, hopefully this helps and uh, don't forget you can play with all this different settings. Uh, th this is just a quick example of how it plays out but overall you can use this type of theory for pretty much any stock, any commodity, any currency and it really is a solid little tool to help confirm that you are buying at an extreme level. Anyways, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.